So according to Farid, his prophet never worshipped idols of his tribe. Just to make sure, let us see what he said again. Then affirming that the prophet, peace be upon him, is not a worshipper of what they worshipped in the past. What Farid forgot is that in chapter 93, ayah 7, Allah himself confirms that Muhammad was pagan. So did we just find another contradiction, yeah, Farid? Allah found Muhammad lost and guided him. Muhammad used to worship idols like his pagan family and tribe, the Quraysh of Mecca. This is why he's lost and needed guidance. The explanation for this verse in Tafsir al-Tabari makes it even more clear. Here's what we can read. وَوَجَدَكَ دَالًا فَهَدَى أَيْ كَانَ عَلَىٰ أَمْرِ قَوْمِهِ أَرْبَعِينَ عَامًا Meaning, Muhammad was pagan like his tribe because all of them worshipped idols. Uh, now, by the way, when it said, uh, the full group of Christians didn't understand that when it said, stay away from worshipping idols, is the same as stay away from idols. So if a person is, not, is for example, uh, is not an idol worshipper, or a person who does not love Pepsi, right? For example, a person who does not love Pepsi, uh, it is said to him, stay away from Pepsi, and he continues to stay away from Pepsi. And it says to him, stay away from drinking Pepsi. It does not mean that he, you know, drank Pepsi before, but it says, but it means to him, it's still a warning that, oh, stay away from Pepsi, at, like from drinking it or from getting close to it, right? That's what it means. So the Prophet didn't, uh, didn't worship idols at all. And we're going to show this fool from the sources, from the same sources that he showed, that the tafsir of the Prophet Muhammad never worshipped idols and he was a muwahid, he was a monotheist and a Muslim from the day he was born till the day he died. Or till the day he became a prophet, from the day he was born till the day he became a prophet, till the day he died. And we're going to expose this fool.